Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to either charge or jump start your W203. Um, this is the facelift, but I'd imagine it's the same for the pre-facelift. Also, this has the 3 litre V6 OM602 turbo diesel engine. Again, I'm sure this would be the same for your C180, your C200, your petrol and your diesel variants. So if you come over to the top, uh, top right hand side of your engine, uh, this is a right hand drive car, so it might be different on a left hand drive car. But you have your positive terminal here. It's just, just here and you can use this as your negative. You can undo these three clips, one, two, and three. If you lift out the cabin air filter, underneath is your battery, if you want direct access to that. But you can use these. So this here just opens up and you'll get a small little uh, thing like that. You can easily get um, a jump lead onto that or a battery charger onto that. And if you are attaching jump leads or anything like that instead of attaching it to the nut i actually attach it to this thing here i get a better ground there um so that's the best way to attach jump leads or a battery charge some people don't recommend jump starting w203s uh they say that you're sending too much voltage through them and there's a lot of electronics on board that's possibly true but i don't know how that would work because you can't really send too much voltage if it's just from another car but maybe you can I, i'm not an expert on that um i've used this and this for the battery ch uh, charger and it worked absolutely perfectly also Some other people, people also say it's best practice uh when you're changing a battery if you get jump leads and attach your positive to your positive negative to your negative and then have a battery separately just sitting there and that'll stop your radio codes and uh, all that kind of happening basically it'll keep the car powered continuously whilst you change your battery so as you take this out once your battery is disconnected obviously you're still getting power from these two to your battery that'll be sitting there on your jump leads uh, that's supposedly Mercedes best practice but I've not seen anybody do that it is pretty handy with the battery leads being here as well. Normally Mercedes and BMWs have uh, the batteries in the boot, but the WT03 has it in the front. And these things here just stops you taking off your carbon air filter, which is kind of handy. Uh, this has got a big di big diesel battery in it, and I've used that for jumping the car once when I went to go buy it because it was completely dead. And uh, I usually stick the battery charger on there, and the battery charger's done a good job of that. I'll actually give the battery charger a review because it stopped me buying a new battery, which was great considering the battery charger only cost me £20 a new battery for one of these is about 80 90 and then if you get an AGM battery it's even more than that so I hope this video helped you guys cheers